Sorry. Let's get it. <laughs> that is a wow. Damn, bro. Oh, he's just gonna be like, nah, dude, you're gonna come get this, bro. A huge, huge shout out to Black Ops Auto Works. This is probably the most exciting thing I've done for this Jeep. We've had this Jeep for a while. I've been wanting to mod it, but I just haven't really gotten around to it. But this is really sick. Black Ops Auto Works has a ton of selection of stuff, especially for the SRT. So if you guys have an SRT, check out Black Ops Auto Works. Every time you think of carbon fiber, I want you to think of Black Ops. Carbon fiber hood, Black Ops. You want a lip kit? Black Ops. Wheels? Black Ops. I'm gonna unbox this sucker, and then, but before we install it, we need to do a wash, wa a washage fest. Wasage, washage, sausage, washage fest. We're gonna wash my car. Forget the wheels. <laughs> This, and this car is now Swirl City, but it's finally clean. I wanted it to look a little nice for this video at least. This hood that we're about to install is, a, I don't want to say it's like a replica of a Hellcat hood, but it's basically a Hellcat hood on a Jeep. So this is going to be part one of this video. We're going to install the hood, but we actually do need Hellcat vents for this hood. You know what? I'm going to explain a little later. Let's get this sucker on box. I'm, I'm ready to see what the heck this thing looks like. Literally weighs like. Oh my gosh, oh. that is gorgeous. <laughs> this is so nice. I've been waiting for so long to modify this car. It's finally time. Welcome to my channel, where all my cars are specialty. So all my parts are on back order, so it takes me years to build them. <laughs> Hold it up, look real happy. This is your first mod. Yay! I'm actually stoked we're changing the hood because if you guys don't remember this, we did the Western Express Rally in September and we had stickers on our, on our hood. And uh, when we were taking the stickers off, it literally just ripped the clear coat right off of our hood. So we've had that for forever. I'm ready to see this thing with some carbon fiber and with a different design because I think the design of that, it'll look just so much more aggressive. And the thing is, this hood is so big, it's like a giant shade and cabana <laughs> for us to work under. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take the windshield squirter thingy, whatever they're called, we're gonna take those out. And we've obviously gotta disconnect the hood from the hydraulic uh, lifter. And I think that's pretty much about it, and then just disconnect it from there. Hood installs are fairly simple, but this one's gonna be pretty big, that's why I have my boy Austin here um, today to help us. It's gonna be hard to align, it's probably gonna take a lot of trial and error, but uh, it's a fairly simple install. One thing we're not gonna do is, uh, we have the option here to drill through this hood, and um, make the squirters come out the top. But I think we're not gonna do that. I think what we're gonna do, Austin was just saying there's a relocation kit where you can actually run the hoses up on top of these and you can have them, I might just do that instead because I do not want to drill through my wife's precious carbon fiber hood. No, thank you. Gang, bro, let's let's just run around with a Hemi exposed for weeks. I think no hood is is way better, eleven times better. Mm, y'all see that? That's a grown man. That's a grown ass man engine right there, bro. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. There's the old. There's the old geezer. Let's get this sucker on. I am so excited, dude. They have any car parts? What Evan doesn't know is I have a present coming for him, but I think it's coming tomorrow. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I do. No, you don't. I need to. What do you have? What? I'm not telling you. Is it like expensive? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> We've officially gotten it pretty much on. Oh my god, that carbon weave is just. That's that's the weave, boy. That's the that's the only kind of weave I want to see, bro. It looks so good. <laughs> the uh, the part two of this video will need to get Hellcat vents. Um, these are the vents that are actually in the Hellcat's hood. We'll have to get this as well. Um, it looks it still looks really really good either way. But right now we're basically trying. I mean, it's gonna be really tedious trying to line this up because this hood. So like normally it's not that hard. 
to uh, to install a hood, but like this hood, it comes down and over and like this, like we just started tightening it up and now it's like touching, almost touching the body right here. So we're just trying to be careful about how we uh, go about this. It's it's just thick enough to where it it stop it it bumps this right here. So what I'm gonna ooh rip Evan, my freaking hand is falling apart. I have to go ahead and take this off. I'm gonna take an air saw and I'm gonna cut this little piece down. You're gonna cut this piece right like here. Like right here. Yeah, clutch. You show him. Go. Cool. Just bite it. Use your teeth and bite it off, bud. <laughs> Voila! Boom! Baby! Alright. No more touch. No mas tocas! No more tacos? No, that is wrong, <laughs> Latoya. He looks really good. Slower. 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 And like, have like a better on the other side. So. And you just what you do on here for carbon fibers, you just tighten until you hear a crack. No, that's how you do it. I'm I'm the I'm the pro here. Okay? Get closer to my chapped lips. Let them see my chapped lips. He's the one that works on the cars, okay? So we should be good. I think we're I think we're solid. Let's go ahead and let it down for the first time. We just spent a bunch of time trying to get it aligned. And uh Whoa. I think we're I think we're money. Looks... It's like it's not touching anywhere. It probably took us about five or six tries. Damn! I just want to see this thing in the sun. Alright, baby. Let's get everything else done. What we have to do is now we have to, uh, well, while the hood was off, while the hood was off, I went ahead and reattached the little holder for the, the deal, the deal holder. And then we gotta go ahead and get the hood latch put on. Yo, Evan, what's up, dude? It's alive! It's literally, okay, this hood is so light, it doesn't, you're, I'm having to actually fight the hydraulic, wait. It's, oh, it's so cool, okay. Let's get this thing down. Whoa. Oh my god! Wild. Let's see it. That is, that is so, so I love that. Oh my gosh, babe. That is so cool. Dude, this is so why, cool. I, you don't want to look at him. You want to look at this. Sorry. I don't know why I was focusing on him. And then this camera is like a child of yours. It never focuses. You gotta, you gotta How are you, manual? Yeah, it's manual. <laughs> I got to see what it looks like. You know what? I think I need the camera. This is so cool, dude. Looking at it from, oh my god. This is like probably my favorite thing I've ever done. I've never, this is actually, this is my first ever carbon fiber hood I've ever installed. Oh, <laughs> this looks so good. You can see all like the, the waves of carbon in the, in the sun and everything. Damn. Oh, now I just, I just need to get the Hellcat pieces and uh, it'll definitely be complete. But, and then we need to wrap it. And then we need to wrap it. Or we need to dip it. We'd, now that we have carbon fiber on it, I feel like we're allowed to do a crazy color. Can we do the color we're talking about? Psychedelic. You want to do Please? Tiffany blue? She wants to do this Tiffany blue, and I'm not sure. This is perfect. This is the most perfect thing I've ever seen. Dude, huge shout out to Black Ops Auto Works, dude. If you guys want to see more awesome mods like this, so they have uh, not only this, but they have a front lip kit that we're going to probably be doing. Hopefully, they do have lowering springs available, which hoping hoping that's the next mod we're gonna be able to do, and they have a bunch of other carbon fiber pieces for the car. But guys, if you like this, make sure you give this video a like, and make sure you check out Black Ops Auto Works, because guess what, if you don't, then they're not gonna wanna work with me anymore. <laughs> oh my, I just can't stop looking at it. This is so tight. I think now what I really wanna do is, I wanna take it for just a little drive down the street, just to make sure everything's sealed correctly and it doesn't like start flapping around and stuff like that. But, uh, oh my god, that looks so good. I can't, I can't have you look at me for too long because this thing just looks so nice! Alright, we're gonna take this thing for a ride and make sure that the hood does not start going wild on me. Oh my god, okay, okay. This hood comes up like it's got like this Ram Air looking thing now and it looks so sick. Oh my, oh! 
Oh my God. Go Austin, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so now it is. All right, so my biggest thing, my concern is to make sure that these vents don't start flapping everywhere in the wind and it looks like everything is 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 just fine so I might have I might have maybe have just gone over the speed limit just a little bit just to see and everything looks just fine I'm not seeing any shaking everything seems really balanced and uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh what a dang gum what a dang gum raster yeah I really want to turn this car into a a car that like can just show up at a car meet and be, people still be like, wow, what the hell is this dad van rolling in? Dude, this is really, really sick. It's really extremely high quality and I'm really stoked about it. They do have a few different options for this hood. You can get the one that's full carbon fiber top and bottom, but I believe this one has the, it's fiberglass on the bottom. What's wild to me is this hood is still only about six, seven pounds, I think. Maybe I'm just strong as hell, but I don't know. It's like, it's so light and it's so, so sick. It fits really well and um, well, it didn't move going 80 miles an hour on the highway. And I'm thinking about selling these stock wheels too, which they do fit on a regular Cherokee. Huge, huge thanks to Black Ops Auto Works for sponsoring this video and for making the Jeep look just that much better. I'm really excited. They do make a chin spoiler for this car and a, like a front lip kit. And they make a bunch of other stuff. And like I said, we will be lowering it. If you guys want to continue to see more videos of this car, if you want to make this thing a sick build, then, then make sure you just keep watching the channel and uh, make sure you hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Y'all already know I love you. Peace out all and be victorious. Oh my God, I just gotta go over here and touch it again. It's so good. I just wanna touch it. I just wanna touch it. Oh, I'm touching it right now. It feels so good. Oh, it's actually really hot. Make sure you guys watch one of those two videos. I got two videos right in front of your face. I promise you, they're gonna be so good. Go watch.